Hey folks, uh, Dane here at Johnny Guitars, and uh, it's getting a little kind of late in the shop this evening. I've been working on uh, making a pick card, I'll show you that in a bit. And uh, I just was thinking about uh, what Leo Fender got wrong when it came to uh, his output jack on the Stratocaster and on other guitars uh that he designed and not only leo there's lots of guitars that are designed with uh this problem and so i will uh i'm going to share that with you let me just turn the camera down here uh oh before i move i should i should say i have nothing but respect for leo fender i uh, uh I've, I've read quite a bit on on him through the years i'm not going to sit here and try to like pop off statistics and facts and things off the top of my head because I will undoubtedly get that wrong. Um, but one thing uh, I'm pretty sure about was he was he was an electronics guy. He was building amplifiers, and electric guitars for him were a way to sell amplifiers. Uh, so there are uh, he's kind of the Henry Ford of uh, of electric guitars in that. Um, he, uh, Henry Ford used the assembly line, but he also ordered uh, things in crates that he could reuse uh, with holes already pre-drilled in them, things like that. Uh, this was Henry Ford uh, for like floorboards and Model T's and, and that sort of stuff. So he was designing with that in mind. And now Leo Fender is designing with uh, kind of composite uh, construction and, and removable, replaceable parts some interchangeable parts. Um, I read once that uh, he knew, he even said in his notebook, how many ounces of paint it took to paint a particular guitar, you know, a, a particular type of guitar, not an individual guitar. So Stratocasters took X amount of paint to, to, to cover, Telecasters took X amount of paint. Uh, so he had it pretty, pretty tight. And uh, I've heard it said that uh, people call him a uh, cheap or a penny pincher, and I don't think that's the point. I think he's a businessman, and the point is to squeeze every bit uh, you can out of out of a dollar so that you have more profit margin. Um, so I think he was very gifted in that regard. Uh, I think that the fact that his guitars worked, uh, just a absolute stroke of luck. <laughs> Maybe it was some genius wrapped up in there. Um, there weren't any other guitars that sounded like these, but they were accepted. And so it's all it's all cool. There's a lot of history in these guitars. And so for whatever the reason, uh, this is one thing uh, for this video that uh, Leo got wrong. Right down here. So this happens to be a Stratocaster I've had in the works for a while. You can see here that if you put all your components in the pick guard, put your pickups in the pick guard, you can wire all of that together, but you can't wire your jack. This jack is over there. And you can't pull the can't disconnect the uh, the output jack from the football. Uh, up there because that won't pull through so no matter what you do you've got to desolder either here or here to uh to assemble this or disassemble it disassemble is that a word deassemble disassemble there we go it is late um okay so i decided that i like the football control um, or whatever you want to call that, plate, football plate. And the idea of the cord coming out of the top of the guitar, A+, plus, Leo, uh, he learned his lesson on the Telecaster. Uh, obviously, the guitar in your lap, on the couch, uh, if you want to plug it in, that cord is going to be hitting 
uh, the couch. If you have it coming out of the top of the guitar, it, it doesn't hit the couch when you sit down or your chair, whatever you're at. All right, so let's move this away. So this is a guitar I've been working on. One of my original body styles. Um, a double cutaway. It has a, a uh, offset waist. And um, where's the, here's the pick guard. Oh, before I get to that pick guard, I'll show you the pick guard I've been working on and get an opinion. It's still on the template. So let's lay this on here. I didn't order this tortoise for this color. I wasn't sure what color I was going to paint this guitar or stain it, and I just decided um, to order this tortoise, and so I've gone ahead and started making it. Um, what do you think? Um, this just has a coat of Simtech on it right now, the easy sanding sealer, and um, I think I like it, actually. I may go with this. So I'm going to use another pick guard though uh, that fits this guitar uh, and it's a little different design. So we've got you've got your pickups in here and you've got your wiring, your, your pots, your switch and you've got your football jack which is going to be right here or right here. So basically you can wire your complete assembly then you can you can install or remove your complete assembly without desoldering well, let's get it kind of in the right position without desoldering anything and I think that's what Leo got wrong um, what do you think I think that's a good idea to be able to uh, take all the electronics out of a guitar without having to desolder anything. Hey, I'm just going to squeeze this in between some of the other things that are going on here in the video. Um, Leo Fender pick guards uh, said he liked components or to compartmentalize. Uh, I think the idea of having the pick guard was to definitely speed up uh, wiring assembly. So you could get your pickups, you could get your switch, get your pots in there get all that wired up and then the only thing you really had to screw with was that that football jack um, so I removed having to screw with the football jack at final assembly and uh, as you might have noticed on this particular one that's a little rabbit trail this is just a straight edge here as opposed to the new and improved version which has the, the little bump out right there I like the looks of that. I like them both actually, but uh, I ended up doing a little round out there. All right, so what Leo Fender got wrong on this guitar, uh, I know there are other models I'm just drawing a blank on right now, but um, let me know what you think. I think it's a good idea. I think that uh, this way you can just take the screws out, everything comes out together, and you can do what you want. Change out a whole pick guard. Anyway, that's it. I think that's, uh, I was pretty sure I could make this a relatively short video. If I didn't go down too many rabbit trails. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hit the like. Uh, hit the subscribe. Hit the bell. All that stuff. Share it. With hey, folks. Jonah. <laughs> Jonah Guitars. It's Dane here.